I think one of the most poignant uh, things in football as a player, certainly, that has stayed with me and was the most difficult for me to overcome was playing in 86 World Cup in Mexico in what was the quarter-final against Argentina and Maradona's hand, you know, the, the handball goal, which um, I, 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 I remember it stays, it stayed with me because it was such a horrible feeling. I could not believe it, that the injustice of what was happening in front of my eyes. And uh, Peter Shelton and myself, I think Terry Fennick, were probably the only three that really saw it. There was other reactions. Other players said afterwards they didn't see it. They thought he headed it. But I, from my angle, from where I, sit, where I saw it, you know, I knew he'd handled it. And, and Shilts knew he handled it because he chased him. And I chased him to the halfway line. But the feeling in the pit of my stomach was just, you know, churning. It was horrible. And that feeling of chasing this referee, and by the way, was from off the top of my head, Syria or somewhere, and the linesman was Costa Rican or something. You know, what were they doing officiating a, a quarter final of the, uh, the, F, uh, the World Cup? I mean, it just doesn't happen nowadays. And that, that injustice of chasing him, pleading with him almost, that it was handball. And I wanted to boot the referee off the park. <laughs> and then having to start, restart the game with such an, you know, an unjust feeling inside of you. It took me four or five minutes to shake off that. I just could not believe it. And um, to a certain degree, you can't blame Maradona. He, he did what he did. He did shake his head. He was very cute. It's up to the, you know, the referee's got to see it and the linesman's got to see it. Maybe, you know, it would have been nice if he would have said, no, it was handball, but that was never going to happen. And obviously you felt for everyone. You felt for yourself. You felt for the manager, Bobby Robson, um, the players, all the work that had gone in. You just felt it was unjust. It was a very, very uh, poignant time as a player, most poignant time, most sickening feeling I've ever had on the football pitch. Um, and uh, it stayed with me, to be honest. Um, still, I'm still chasing the ref. <laughs> I actually came home from that World Cup and I had to get out of the country. I couldn't sleep at night. I went to Spain for an early holiday. I was booked up to go a few weeks. But I remember watching the final with about three or four hundred German supporters in Spain somewhere with me mate. And it's probably the only day where I've become a German supporter for the day. <laughs>